Do you think that Toronto comes back down to earth with their three-point shooting on Friday night? Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to shoot it well from three. Now, they didn't shoot it as well this last game. They shot 37%, which isn't bad, but they, they you know, they had 11 in the first half, yep. uh, which was outrageous. But then they only had two in the second half. So the Wizards did a much better job. Obviously, the third quarter was good for Washington. They outscored them 32-24. And at one point, you know, in the fourth, they cut it to five, which was, you know, admirable. Uh, just couldn't get there. And the Wizards themselves, you know, they didn't shoot badly. They shot 49% from the field for the game and, and made 10 of 22 threes, so that's not bad. But you're, you're right, they got out killed on the boards. And, and they're really struggling to get looks. I mean, Bradley Beal, 3 of 11 Terrible. from the field, you know, 9 points. Uh, I think it's the first time in 35 straight playoff games he didn't score 10 or more points. Uh, so he's got to somehow get unleashed. But I think teams, and they've been doing this in the regular season too, Teams just, um, you know, they, they really go after him. They know John Wall's going to hurt him in some fashion, but I think they feel like we got to get to Bradley Beal and, and make, you know, keep him from having a great game and make it really tough on him because he works hard to get free for shots, but he's having a difficult time getting shots and getting good looks. So, um, you know, Toronto's a good team. they gotta, we just got to play some defense. they got to try to get out there and be or play urgent, which yes. – um, I think they did better in the second game, but, uh, you know, these are the playoffs, man. This is the time when you got to let it loose. I kind of want your take on a couple things we were discussing earlier. So Jerry Brewer had an article in the Washington Post today where essentially kind of says that the Wizards team, they take things a little too casual. And then we also had comments, I don't know if you are aware of them, from Paul Pierce and Tracy McGrady on one of their ESPN shows where they said that if the Wizards don't advance the conference finals, they're going to have to break up Wall and Beal. Give us your take on both of those. Uh, well, the, the casual thing, you know, may have been, you know, their, their description or MO, if you want to call it that, earlier in the season or maybe even going into the season, although I didn't see a whole lot of it. But the, what I didn't see throughout the course of the year was them being consistently urgent. On the on the court, you know, playing, and that's why what's at the beginning the of the season, what's the difference? Yeah, between <clears> urgency I, and just too casual. I don't get it. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think one one thing is a one of them is a mindset. The other is actual physical play on the court. Um, and I, I just think that uh, you know w- the team lost so many games that they could have or should have won during the course of the early season. And we knew it would come back to haunt them. I knew it would. Mm-hmm. Uh, it always does. Right. But it actually came down to the final game where if they beat Orlando, they play Boston in the first round instead of Toronto. Now, <clears throat> some of your listeners may think, well, that's not much better than playing Toronto. Well, it is because they beat Boston three out of four times this year, and Boston's banged up, obviously. And it's different in the playoffs. I understand that but they would have had a better shot against Boston than Toronto. Right. Uh, so anyway, having said that, uh, those losses hurt them. And I think that casual play or thinking you're too good or better than you are or thinking that all you have to do is go out on the court and you're going to win games, that doesn't work. When you're a good team, when you're in Oklahoma City or you're a Golden State, for the most part of 82 games, you go out and you play with a play hard and you win. Yeah, they act like they have arrived. I mean, it's definitely, it's a fair criticism. Here's the thing, though, that bothers me, and I'm just so frustrated. I'm trying to, and I know you, you know, so are you. I'm just venting. Yeah, I mean, look, we all are. It's, yeah, it, 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 but, yeah. But here's the thing. They always say the right things after the game, and then nothing changes. I, yeah, but every team says the right things. What what team doesn't say the right yeah, They probably. all say. You're, you're probably you know, right. Every athlete I've ever covered in 44 years in this business says the right thing. The question is, do you go out and do it? Right. You know, that's, you know, does it manifest itself on the court or on the ice or on the field or whatever it happens to be? So, um, you know, they're all going to, everybody's going to say the right thing. You have to then turn around and do it. So um, I don't know about that. And then with regard to the second statements um, that those guys made, um, yeah, I mean, after last year's playoffs, you know, you're one win away from the Eastern Conference Finals. And the same thing happened a couple of years before that. If John Wall doesn't break his hand, they probably beat Atlanta and go to the Eastern Conference Finals. So they've been close in two out of four years or whatever it is, mm-hmm. uh, very close. Uh, this year, 
I, I'm not sure, you know, why uh, it didn't. You know, they won what 43 games this year and 49 the year before. So uh, I'm not sure why it didn't uh, pan out on the court. Well, John was hurt. Uh, that that was huge. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he missed 41 games. So that's, I mean, that's big, obviously, and people kind of tend to forget that. And but I, but I think that um, well, that was the major difference between last yeah. year and this year. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I, do you, you know, do you break them up? I, I don't think so. I mean, Ted invested a lot, a lot of money in these guys and John and, and Bradley and Otto, obviously that's the core that he wanted to keep together and build around. So uh, to, to me, I, I don't know if you, if you trade one or, 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 or break them up in some fashion, or you just try to add to the team somehow in free agency. I don't know money wise if they can do that, but, uh, there may have to be a trade made or something like that, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow night.